everybody, my name is Kalia. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be trying to find the best pizza in New York City. I admittedly have not been a pizza girly for quite some time, but recently I kind of flipped a switch and now I'm like always craving pizza. So I thought it would be fun to take you guys around New York and try a bunch of the famous pizza spots and let you know which one's the best. For our first stop, we decided to venture to the West Village to check out a very popular pizza restaurant called Late Industry Pizza. They actually have a location in Brooklyn which I've been to before but I decided to check out their West Village one which was a mistake because it was incredibly busy and the line was super long and I was fighting for my life in there but I guess it's fine because their pizza is popular for a reason they have a lot of different types of slices and pies and it's pretty unique like burrata spicy salami and their famously industry pizza and of course we had to check out a couple of different slices to see if it's worth the hype yum okay Yay! okay so we got Spicy salami, fig jam and bacon, and then this one is our famous prosciutto and burrata. I'm gonna try the spicy salami one first. Mmm, <gasps> I think it's it. It's like super thin crust, and I feel like their sauce is a little sweet. I don't have to put like honey or something in it, but mmm, really good. Super yum. And then I'm gonna try the prosciutto and burrata one. Mmm, <gasps> prosciutto is really salty. Which I feel like contrasts well with like, the sweetness of the sauce. Mm. But I think I like the spicy salami one better still. So. And the last one is fig jam and bacon one. Which I don't think I've had before. Mmm. Uh. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, this one's really good. Because the jam is like sweet, but then the bacon is like smoky. Mmm. I think this one's the best one. TBH. Actually, I don't know. They're all good. <sighs> we just scarfed down our three slices of late industry pizza. I would definitely rank them. Number three was the late industry slice with the prosciutto and burrata. I feel like it was just kind of like hard to eat and it didn't really like mesh well together. And then number two was definitely spicy salami. And number one was definitely fig jam and bacon. I feel like everything just went so well together. Like the fig jam was sweet and then the bacon was smoky. And I don't know, I just really liked it. I feel like I liked it more than I thought I would. But overall, so far I would rate late industry maybe a seven and a half to eight, maybe. Okay, hello. It is now a different day, different night. I'm actually super excited. We are going to Lou Colley's. I'm super excited. This is apparently Beyonce and Jay-Z's favorite restaurant. And I've heard amazing things about all their things. The calzones, the pizzas, the pasta. And of course, we're going to try their pizza tonight. And the wait is always insane at like multiple hours. But thankfully, my friend Sunny has an in. And so we got the chance to try it tonight. I'm super, super excited. Thank you again to Sunny for hooking it up. Um, I'm really, really excited to try, so let's go. And so we made our way over to Lucali, which is located in Carroll Gardens in Brooklyn, which is a trek out, but there's always still a super long line because they don't take reservations. The restaurant itself is super cozy inside and can sit around 30 people. And it's also BYOB, which I feel like could be fun if you like to split a bottle with your friends. But once we were actually in the restaurant, the first thing that we ordered was the spicy pasta, which honestly stole the show for me. It was so freaking good. It wasn't too spicy. The pasta was like perfectly cooked. I don't know. I just really, really liked it. And then the next thing that we got of course was the pizza and they don't do it by the slice you have to get a whole pie but it was super super good pretty saucy and the crust was not super hard um, but I felt like it was a good vehicle for everything and we also got the calzone which some say they actually like better than the regular pizza but it was super super ooey gooey cheesy okay hello my official review unfortunately I'm partial to pasta always the pasta was so good we actually ordered it twice I actually really like the pizza we got the mushroom and the garlic and I love mushroom, especially on pizza. So that was some too and the calzone. But that's my official ranking. 10 out of 10. No notes. Thank you, Sunny. Thank you, Mark. And the third place we went to was Joe's Pizza, which I feel like is a quintessential New York City pizza spot. Like a bunch of famous people have come here. It's been featured in movies and it's extremely popular. And so of course I went to go check it out. It's pretty no frills. They have all of the basic types of slices and it's just like a quick grab and go place if you just want a random slice on a random night. Don't come for my name because to be honest, I feel like their pizza is pretty mid. I was not impressed in any way. Like it's just a regular slice of pizza 
it's nothing to write home about but i will say their crust is like pretty thin which is what they're known for but for some reason for me it just was not hitting but i mean regardless of my own personal opinion you cannot deny that joe's pizza is honestly a vibe and if you're in new york it's worth checking out and last but certainly not least is Little Italy Pizza number three, which is not very renowned. It's just a random neighborhood spot that we like to go to. But honestly, dare I say, my favorite place out of all the places that we went to. Like honestly, this buffalo chicken slice, amazing, incredible. And I was a little bit skeptical before I tried it. I thought it was just gonna be regular or mid, but honestly, it's not. And I think the secret is their crust. They have breadcrumbs on the bottom, which just has this amazing texture and their flavors. I don't even know. Hello? We are out here at Norman's favorite pizza spot. A hidden gem. He claims it's the best pizza spot in the city, better than any of the places we've tried. So it's true. I literally got one slice of mushroom pizza just because I was hungry, but then it literally freaking slapped so hard that I was like, I immediately need another one. So then I decided to be a little crazy and I got the buffalo chicken, which was also incredible. Thoughts, Norman? Agreed. No, it was so good. I think it's like the crust, Norman says has like breadcrumbs, so like the texture is so good. And I don't know, I feel like they just do something that like, it's every slice is so flavorful, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Dude, this place is being slapped on. Little pe Italy pizza number three. I don't know if one or two are as good, but probably. But number three, check it out. Hidden gem, hidden gem. All right, official review of Little Italy pizza number three. No, I was just saying like, it comes out perfect. Okay. It's crunchy and crispy, so you can still fold it, it's not too hard. Also, the bottom, there's like texture on it because of the breadcrumbs. So you get a little nice little texture on the tongue when you like bite into that thing. It's just a, it's just a good slice. It's also, a like great the, slice. the sauce and the cheese are like pretty flavorful. Too. Bro, so, so good. It's not just crust. Bro, they tucked some of the buffalo chicken under the cheese, and I was like, that's genius. Yeah, there was buffalo sauce in like every bite. Yes. Great. Oh my gosh. Incredible. 10 out of 10 recommendation, Norman. Yeah. And of course, I only got to hit up four places this time around, which is by no means an exhaustive list of the places in the city. But hopefully this will be a great starting point for your list if you ever come visit. But if there's any place I should definitely hit up, let me know. But with that, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you for the next one.